There's a myth about veganism that it's super expensive, but that's simply not true. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three amazingly delicious, easy to make recipes that cost less than $1.50 per serving to make. And one of the tips that I use to make these recipes so cheap and filling is to buy things in bulk. Like this humongous bag of brown rice, which I think the whole thing costs like $8. So per serving, you are gonna be eating really inexpensively and it's gonna be delicious and filling, of course. This video is sponsored by Audible, who I love because I am a huge fan of audiobooks. As a special gift to my viewers, if you go to audible.com slash sweet potato soul, you can get a free 30 day trial, plus your first audiobook is free. Or if you text sweet potato soul to 500 500, you can also take advantage of this special offer for my sweet potato soul viewers. Okay. So let's get started with our recipes. First up is the crispy tofu and broccoli. Start by pressing the tofu to drain excess liquid. Wrap in a paper towel and place a heavy pot on top for 10 minutes. Then pan fry the tofu, cut into cubes on all sides until golden. Transfer the whole skillet to the oven at 425 degrees and bake for 15 minutes. Now, blanch the broccoli by boiling it for one minute. To make the sauce, combine cornstarch, sugar, white vinegar, veggie stock, black bean sauce, sesame oil, and soy sauce. Stir well and use a fork to get out any clumps. Once the tofu is done, I'm gonna use that same skillet to stir fry the rest of the ingredients. Add a little oil to the pan and then saute garlic, ginger, and green onions until fragrant. Add the blanched broccoli and cook it for about five minutes and then pour over the sauce. Add the tofu and stir to make sure it's all coated in the sauce. Serve over brown rice. Total cost per serving is mm. I recently discovered this yogi, Sadhguru, and I've been listening to his book, Inner Engineering, on Audible. Only if you realize you're responsible, do you have the freedom to create yourself the way you want to be, not as a reaction to the situations in which you exist. Reactivity is enslavement. Responsibility is freedom. I've been practicing yoga for 10 years and this really, really makes me and inspires me to deepen my practice to go beyond the physical, the asana practice, but finally get back to meditation and all the other aspects of yoga. I already know I'm gonna re-listen to this book as soon as I'm finished, when I'm on my vacation next week on the beach and when we're driving around Maui. It's gonna be so lovely. And by the way, if you're going anywhere this summer on vacation, remember that Audible is an amazing summer companion. You can listen to audiobooks while you're driving, while you're on the airplane, while you're chilling out on the beach, doing whatever. It's perfect for summertime. Our next recipe is the sweet potato red lentil curry. Fry curry powder and cumin in oil for 30 seconds. Then add garlic and onions and a pinch of salt. Saute for about three minutes. Add the sweet potatoes and red lentils. Then add a can of coconut milk and four cups of water. Stir well and then bring it to a simmer with the lid ajar. Cook for about 30 minutes or until the ingredients are tender. Add veggie bouillon paste and the juice of one lime. Serve with brown rice and garnish with cilantro. Total cost per serving is... Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I 
actually make this recipe all the time. It's so easy. And I love how inexpensive it is as well. I also love that it's balanced, so you're getting plenty of your nutrients. Lastly, we're making zucchini lentil burgers. Start by shredding two zucchinis. You can also do this by hand with a box grater. Transfer that to a bowl and then add sunflower seeds, garlic, and spices to the food processor. Blend until you've got a grainy mixture. Now add onions, brown rice, and lentils, the sunflower spice mix, and three quarters of the zucchini back into the food processor. Blend until you've got a thick batter. Transfer it to a mixing bowl and stir in a half a cup of breadcrumbs and the remaining zucchini. Form into patties and coat in breadcrumbs. Bake at 375 degrees for 35 minutes, flipping halfway through. Serve on a bun with kale or lettuce and topped with barbecue sauce. The total cost per serving is... So I want to try it by itself first. Mmm, really good. So of course it's a burger. You can serve it over a burger bun, or I really love serving it over a salad. Sometimes I even crumble it up on top of a salad. Really good texture, and of course the flavor, all the balance of like zucchini and rice and lentils, so filling. So delicious too. This is really good with any type of sauce, but right now I'm really digging this with barbecue sauce. Mm. I hope you guys like these recipes. Let me know which one you are gonna make first. I gotta be honest, like this tofu dish, oh, I mean, I love everything, but the tofu, yo, the tofu, it's really, really good tofu. So let me know which one you're gonna try first. Also, don't forget to sign up for Audible using my code, go to audible.com slash sweet potato soul or text sweet potato soul to 500 500. You'll get a 30 day free trial plus your first audiobook for free. Audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks. Let me know which one you guys are listening to. Like I said, I'm currently listening to Inner Engineering by Sadhguru. I will put links to all that stuff down below. And of course, I'll link the recipes too so you guys can give these a try as soon as possible. Like I said at the top, it's a myth that eating vegan has to be expensive. It's simply not true. So if you wanna see more ways of saving money and being vegan, make sure you check out my other videos. I'm gonna link those down below. Great recipes, meal plans, shopping guides, all that good stuff. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.